Today, the Toma Area School District is holding a session to answer questions about an operational referendum. The referendum will be on the April ballot. It asks voters if they can exceed their revenue limit by $2.5 million to maintain school facilities and programs. The sessions start at 7 tonight at the Robert Cupper Learning Center. Stopping Temptations, March is Problem Gambling Awareness Month, and the Wisconsin Lottery is joining the National Council on Problem Gambling and the Wisconsin Council to spread awareness. Problem gambling consists of gambling behavior patterns that damage personal or family pursuits. With this initiative, the Wisconsin Lottery hopes every player is responsible and knows their limit, not just during Problem Gambling Awareness Month, but year round. It's also important to note that this is not a one month initiative. Just like the council helpline is there all day, every day, this effort with us runs all year, every year, whether it's showing the free helpline on the back of lottery tickets or showing it on displays right at the point of sale at our retailers. Experts say nearly 2 million U.S. adults meet the criteria for severe problem gambling. Another 4 to 6 million meet the criteria for mild or moderate problem gambling. A committee studying policing in La Crosse County is getting closer to submitting recommendations to the county board. In November 2021, the county board approved of a study to research current practices across local departments. Since last March, former board chairwoman Tara Johnson and local officials say the group is likely to recommend that the county form a commission to provide policing practices countywide and that they're fair to all groups. The intersection between policing and marginalized populations, making sure that policing is done fairly, is done equitably, uh, that it is transparent, that it is consistent. But the question for the group is still, what does that commission look like? Who would be on it? And what standards would they hold county police departments to? Any recommendations will go to the county board's judiciary and law committee, then to the full county board for approval. You can learn more about protecting your identity with a free program at La Crosse County's library system. Today at three of the system's branches, Jeff Kirsten from Wisconsin's Division of Trade and Consumer Protection will explain different kinds of identity theft, how to spot it, and how to prevent it. No registration is necessary and the program is free. The session will happen at On Alaska, West Salem, and Holland Public Libraries. We have more information on our website, that's news8000.com. And today, reading and exercise come together. Northwoods International School is hosting an outdoor story walk. Logan High School student athletes and Northwoods students in kindergarten through second grade are teaming up for the story walk. The event combines reading a book while staying active and walking outside. Event organizers hope to promote the importance of reading and staying active through the story walk. The event will begin at 9 o'clock this morning. And as you head out the door this morning, we are looking at a pretty cloudy start. Temperatures into the upper 20s, low 30s. Those clouds are especially going to be overcast uh, through the late morning. And then we start to see some partial clearing late this afternoon into early this evening with temperatures holding steady mainly into those mid to upper 30s during the afternoon. Now tomorrow may be slightly warmer. Highs will climb to about 41 degrees. Still looking at a day full of clouds though. Some flurries possible on Saturday with a chance of rain and snow on Sunday and Monday from our next system moving through. Highs in the mid 40s though for Sunday and Monday then we drop into the uh, mid to low 30s here as we head into much of next week while still looking at mainly cloudy conditions and low temperatures into the 20s and low 30s. Saturday and Sunday with flurries I will be inside reading a book. There you go that sounds good. Hiding out. Yeah I mean hey I mean I've been doing well maybe not reading a book but just kind of <laughs> inside. Staying inside. Yeah. This is really not a whole Hiding lot of Hiding away from it I you know, know I'm over the snow. It's gloomy and you snow on the ground. Ready I can't for wait spring. for spring. Same can't wait. <laughs> Thanks Derek <laughs> yeah. and thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on News8000.com and we'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great day everyone and thank you for watching News 8.